Does the new Minecraft 1.18 update make the game too easy? Let's find out. In the new 1.18 update, finding diamonds is not very hard. Even though you have to go deeper now, giant caves expose multiple diamond veins at once, and there are many tactics for finding up to 200 diamonds per hour. Fossils are now generated along with diamonds instead of coal. So although fossils are incredibly rare, you can get even more diamonds that way. Staying at the topic of mining, Mining copper now gives you 2 to 5 raw copper instead of just 2 to 3. So again, it's way easier because you have to do less mining in general. While you're down there, it's now easier to find monster spawners. The deeper you go, the more common they get. So no more running around for decades trying to find a skeleton spawner just to supply you with enough arrows. In addition to that, contrary to previous releases, you should now always spawn in a normal and friendly biome when you generate a new world. So at least you will no longer find yourself stranded on a deserted island with no trees. Thankfully, monsters now only spawn in complete darkness. So a torch, for example, used to prevent monsters from spawning in this radius. But in 1.18, they can only spawn outside of this radius. This makes makes lighting up your base way easier and safer. Last but not least, sprinting and hitting a wall at an angle no longer stops you from sprinting. So jump and runs and your favorite parkour maps should be a little bit easier now. But that's where we get to the changes of 1.18 that actually made the game harder. We all know that 1.18 comes with beautiful and big biomes, but that also has a drawback. If biomes are bigger, then that means that certain biomes are rarer to find. So acquiring items like cocoa beans, bamboo, terracotta, coral or even mushroom cows is much harder now. On top of that, piglin traits are way worse now, which is bad news for speedrunners. They still give you the same items, but just less of them. In addition to that, villages also became quite rare. So good luck transporting those two annoying villages into your base. And while you're doing that, you probably have to scale a few mountains, which are the home of goats, which can easily push you off a cliff or into powdered snow, which can pretty quickly become a freezing death threat. There are also more magma block traps in the ocean. So Felix, please keep a good eye on me or I will disappear into the depths of the ocean again. Also, four new achievements have been added to the game, which makes the journey longer and harder for all the completionists out there. And last but not least, a bug was reported that seeds sometimes don't include the same structures across platforms. So one platform could potentially have an advantage over the other, even though they're using the same world with the same seed. So is the game too easy now? Is it even harder? I'd say it entirely depends on your playstyle. If you're a speedrunner, for example, picking the 1.18 version of Minecraft will most likely hinder you from ever getting a world record. But if you play the game normally, just enjoying the process of slowly progressing through the game, then I'd say 1.18 is definitely the version for you. Yes, there are up and downsides to this update when it comes to the game difficulty, but in the end, we play this 10 year old game to have fun. And comments like these prove that this new update provides us with an entirely different Minecraft experience. Caving. The one thing this game was all about in the first place became fun again and will be even more thrilling in the future. We can build higher, dig deeper and we can light our homes much better while still staying safe. I mean we have this absolutely gorgeous landscape to look at every day and we can do everything we want with it. This update allowed us to express our creativity and ideas infinitely better than any previous versions and it opens up the gates to an entirely new world of Minecraft. Click the video on screen to see more of my content and this has been Sven and it's been an absolute pleasure.